Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be November favorite. Okay, I don't know why I just did that, but anyway, um, I don't have many favorites this month because I've been using the same things last month. So um, I didn't change much of my beauty regime or my makeup uh, routine or whatever. So I don't have really that much today. I have. Two, four, six, seven. I have seven products, but I thought you know why not just show you as well. So the first three um stuff I'm gonna show you is sort of like skincare. Um, I've been using these three products for quite a while now, and I really love it. I just never got around to showing you guys. I don't know why. So I thought, you know, why not show you my November favorites? So the first thing is my Clarisonic. Um, this is the Clarisonic Mia 2, and it's the one in the baby pink color. Um, don't mind my brush. It's orange because... The soap that I used to use was orange, so it kind of um, tinted the brush. It's actually white. So yeah, it's not dirty, it's just that it's dyed from the soap. Anyway, I love this. Um, it has made my skin a lot better. Like I used to have really bad breakouts and um, I just broke out. Because my skin is so sensitive, I broke out with every little change that I made to my skin or any new thing that I put on my skin well, I'll still do but it's not as bad as um, my like when I didn't use this so now my skin is a lot better I still have the occasional you know breakouts and sensitivity issues and um, you know during the monthly cycle I still get you know acne and breakouts and stuff but just not as bad and I really love this I use it um, in the shower, no, not every day because I think that will dry out my skin but I use it like on days that I wear makeup, I'll use this at the end of the day to um, get rid of the residue, the leftover residue that's sitting on my skin after I've like, you know, removed my makeup and everything. You still have a little bit of residue. So I use this to wash my face in the shower. It's waterproof, you can wet the whole thing and I don't know, I just really love this and I don't think I'll ever live without it ever again. So yeah, I recommend this to everyone. It's a little tad pricey but I think it's worth the investment. If you have oily skin, they have a head for oily skin. If you have dry skin, they have, if you have sensitive skin, if you have, you know, they have a brush head for every type of skin. The brush head actually just comes out like that. So you can actually interchange it. And I think they have a head for body as well, like body use. So um yeah. Go get one, go invest in one if um you've been thinking about it. I think it's totally worth it. So that's that. And then my next product is um this by Festa Moist Cleansing Lotion. This is like a makeup remover but it's water-based. I can't use oil-based cleansers because my skin, you know, super sensitive. It'll just break out. Even though I have dry skin, they say it's better to use oil, but I can't. My skin will just break out and I'll get lumps everywhere and I'll get redness everywhere. So I've got to use water-based one. And this is, I think, Korean. If I'm not wrong, it's either Korean or Japanese, but I think it's Korean. I've been using this for quite a while. I think for about maybe four months now. And I love it. It gets rid of all my makeup, all my waterproof makeup, all my waterproof lipsticks, uh, all my, you know, stay, long, long stay lipsticks or mascara or whatever, you know, you know what I mean. It gets rid of everything. I could just use one product to get rid of my entire face. Like, I don't have to use a separate eye makeup removal or anything. I'll just use this. I'll just soak a cotton pad and just, you know, remove everything on my face and I'll repeat the process until there's not much left on the pad, like you can see the colour. So yeah, I really recommend this. Um, it's really cheap. I got this at Watson's for I think about $17. It beats the Shuemura cleansing oils. So it works just as well. So go get one if you're looking for um, a cleansing water. 
And then the next thing I have is a mask. This is the Innisfree Jeju Volcanic Pore Clay Mask. Just looks like this. I'll show you how it looks like inside. It looks like um clay basically. Because it's a clay mask. Duh. Um yeah, I went to Penang like earlier this month and I don't know why, maybe it's the water there or the plane ride or something it affected my skin and I started breaking out like you know around my jaw area you can see my vlogs my Penang vlogs and I came back and I started using this like I'll put it uh, more on the patches where I broke out and it just calmed my skin down so I really like it um it's not you don't really feel anything when you put it on it's just cooling and then it just hardens up because I mean all clay masks do that they harden up so um yeah I really like it I tend to gravitate towards this mask um, than any other mask that I have so I thought why not recommend it to you guys it's in its free it's Korean again I think you can tell that I like Korean stuff right yep and this is inexpensive as well I think it was 20 bucks yeah I think it's 20 bucks for 100ml and you just need a little bit like a little goes a long way so check this out and recently I've been obsessed with painting my nails I don't know why like I started painting my nails and ever since I removed the polish I hated how my nails look like like to me they look horrible like I didn't want to show anyone without any nail polish on like I don't know my natural nails looks like so I've been painting my nails and before I change to this color um, I'm just trying out this new polish and I'll probably have a review on my like a short review on my blog yes I set up a new blog so I'll link it down below go check it out anyway before I change to this color I was uh, wearing this OPI nail lacquer in tickle my Fonzie it's just this uh, really nude it's like got a tint of little bit of purple in the nude I don't know I think it's like is it called mauve like mauve 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 something like that so this is the color just looks like this it looks pretty nude in the tube right I mean the bottle right but when I put it on my nails I don't know maybe it's with my skin tone it just looks a little tiny bit purplish like a nudey purplish you know mauve so yeah I actually wore this uh, for quite some time like when I when it started chipping I removed it and I applied it again and I really like it it's just a classic um, color I really really like it and on top of that I've been putting this Session Vite um, dry fast top coat and this top coat I tell you dries within seconds I'm not kidding you it's seconds it's not even minutes it's seconds like you put a layer on your finished nail and then you wait I don't know 30 seconds and then you touch it it's dry so you know I like doing my nails but I don't like waiting around for it to dry because you don't only have to wait for the first layer to dry you have to wait for all the layers to dry so I just don't like that part of doing my nails so this one was perfect but one thing I have to say I have to complain about this um, it gets thick really fast like the consistency of it I don't know if you can see but it's thicker than um, like other top coats and um, I just solved the problem by putting in the nail polish thinner and that basically works so I can't complain like yeah it gets thick but there's a solution to it so I don't mind the most important thing to me is that it dries quick and you know I can do things after that I don't have to sit around and wait for it to dry so I really like this and then recently as you know I did my hair right like I totally like dyed my hair and changed the style of it and everything and because my hair was so damaged I had to um, go out and get some stuff to you know show more love and care to my hair so I did my hair on the 1st of November if I'm not wrong and today is the 28, 29, 28 and I've been pretty much using this two, two products 
to help my hair and uh, well I've been using it the whole month so you know it has to go in my November favorites right so the first one is this L'Oreal Hair Expertise Ever Cream Sulfate Free Moisture System Nourishing Living Spray it says no heavy waxes triple action hydration and it has natural botanicals so the bottle just looks like that it's just a gold isn't it? it's pretty large and this has helped my hair like a hell of a lot besides using like the hair mask in the shower i don't use conditioner anymore i just use hair mask because that's what uh, my hairdresser told me like it's better for my hair because it was so bad right it was so damaged so after i shower and after i towel dry it i'll just um, pump this through my hair and then i'll comb it through and then i'll use this um john freda freeze ease original 60 frax serum eliminates freeze protects from humidity protects from heat smooth hydrates and tames apply to wet hair so after i use this one i'll pump like one pump of this into my palm um spread it on my hands and then comb through my hair with my fingers and these two have been lifesavers like there was i think once or twice that i was too lazy and too tired to put them in my hair and the next day my hair was like it, it was not nice it was not pretty so these two combined together has helped my hair a hell of a lot my hair is a lot smoother it's a lot um silkier it's not as dry or as damaged as before besides the hair mask i'm sure these two played a part um yeah i'm pretty happy with my purchase it wasn't too expensive both were less than i think this was 15 and this was maybe around the same price so it's not that expensive and it works so why not right um yeah that's it for my november favorites i hope this was helpful you can get all this stuff at well most of the stuff probably at sephora and watson's so till my next month's um uh, favorites take care and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye oh and don't forget to check out my new blog i'll link it down below bye Ooh. Look, it's gold eyeliner. I think that's why it's 24 karat. The name. Oh, it's very nice though. The brush is a bit um hard, but that's the color. Can you see? That's the gold.